is Lady Jack Twenty and today I am starting a kind of different let's play. A special let's play you may call it. A let's play of a game that I have discovered as well. It's a game known as the Neverhood. Let us watch this little intro. So yeah, the Neverhood well, we all know about DreamWorks and how I made mean, all these movies, Madagascar, Shrek, and whatnot, but before all that, it made a. It was in the gaming industry, and one of its first games was The Neverhood Chronicles. A. Well, computer game about, you know, it was, an, it was a little adventure puzzle game. Which, um. Well, uh. It's kinda cool because. Not only did it evolve all its cool animations of, uh, well, DreamWorks animations, but it also had, as you can see, all of its cutscenes and whatnot were all claymation. So it's kind of cool because, you know, it kind of makes it feel like they actually did a lot of work. So, this is where we start. So, already immediately just the rush to ride to the game, so. That's our hero down there, and why he's down there sleeping, we don't know. Hey, right, get up. Yeah, you. We're on a roll today, we have to move. Let's change the pace for Mega Man, obviously. So, just kind of click, and he walks around. Okay, let's look outside this window. Oh, no, yeah, we can't do that now. Should I push that button? Now we can check out this window. A little glimpse of what this world looks like. Alright, claim in. Let's pull the switch and get going. Whoa. So, yeah. There are actually quite, some, actually quite a few difficult puzzles in this. Nothing too hard, though. Awesome game I just had to do. Oh, hmm. So this is the second room. Okay. Let's go down, Clayman. Oh. What the? Okay, get us out. Ah. Oh, it's just happening. It's really interesting. You jump in, spit you out. Alright, little tidbit for now. We're probably never gonna use this ever in this let's play, but good to, you know, get it out there. Um, down here is a little hint box through the game in case if you ever need any help, come here. And there and stuff will be letters that basically give you hints on how to solve those puzzles. We're probably not gonna use them, but, you know, it's just for anyone playing the game, that's where you can find them. Alright, so now we have these weird little strings with donuts attached to them. We have a door with a button. Alright, let's push that button. Let's get this door open. Let's go. Ow. Did not see that coming. Okay. Let's see if we can see if we can pull these things. That's not gonna really help us much. Hmm. Alright, let's think about this for a second. There are a bunch of little switches. Hmm. Should I pull on this one? Nothing. about this one here. You're gonna wanna pull that one immediately, yeah. See, I've already played B this game, and I'm not really, I don't have much time to mess around. So, notice when we pull this one, door opens. I don't really, maybe there you go. And now it's time to get down. So, remember how this thing kind of bit us up and 
worked on. Hey, now she's to get to the other side of it. We're gonna push it. I said push it. So just keep clicking on it for the number of times you want to push them. We're just gonna keep pushing until it's right. You don't, do not have to do that in your front door every day. Alright. So here you are in our new little world. Hmm. What an interesting world it is, too. Is this thing here? We're not going to want to go there. That's our house, I guess. Weird little thing. A go cave. So yeah, this is all made... And that little transition noise you hear, uh, sorry, the little transition video, see, all of this is made with Claymation just moving a little camera through this whole thing. So they had to create all this, so I, I do find that kite cool. Okay. Oh, snap. See that little thing that we're picking up right now, this little case? This is pretty much the thing we're trying to collect in this whole game. So, yeah. Make sure you get every one of those. That'll be a little TV screen. Let's check it out. Okay, uh... Pieces here, and we're going to get them down. Hmm. Well, that one's easy. All right, go. The little gong thing here is pretty much the same as we saw it. So now our TNT movie is done. Ain't it cute? Let's keep moving down the road. Okay, that goes back into the room. We don't want to go there right now. <laughs> A little change of scenery here, actually, now. But yeah, this actually is quite an old game. Like, this is made, I would say, probably... Um, these little berries things that you're seeing here, I could have them eat them, but it triggers a quite long cutscene. Now, I'll probably do it as a bonus video later, so just don't, I'm not going to touch those things right now, but we will, we will, we'll, we'll, I'll show you get them later. I will show them. Don't worry. They just would be kind of a waste of time. Whoa. Hmm. What is this? It's almost like a warning saying, warning, weird green thingy, and music box, oh my gosh, let's spin it, I don't care what they're saying about warning, this is awesome, go Clayman, go, mm. uh, you, you got, there you go, what fun, um. That's weird. Huh? Oh my god. Run! It's a weasel. Weasels are evil if you haven't already figured that part out now. Oh my goodness. 
So yeah, this was all made by Claymation. That is amazing that I, think, that I find doing this whole cutscene in just Claymation. It's a bit spicy to your liking, though. Goodbye, Mr. Weasel. What the? Who's that guy's guy? That guy. Well, there he is. He's not gonna be hungry, I guess, anymore. All right, now. Now let's go back, cause I think we'll remember for that cutscene when that weasel thing crashed out of the wall, left for us. A cave opening thing. Yeah. Ha! I laugh at your warning now. There's nothing to have to be warned from anymore. Ooh. I have this little foot cart. Alright, I'm just gonna say this right now. I'm just gonna take a quick second. This game involves some. Well, I'd say quite uh, a few segments where you have to like this. You cannot just go with the like, just rush through this game. There is part stuff where you have to write crap down, and if you do not write this stuff down, um, you are uh, most likely going to um get quite lost. Okay, well we just need to get around the spiral. Be too hard. But then again, that could also be part of the next episode. But yeah, there will probably be a couple times where I pause it. Hmm. No, oh, the bell sound sounds a lot more better, so I'm gonna go with that. Most likely, once I get out of the spiral and get back up there, it's going to be at the end of this episode, though. Zip, I am so glad I can now do computer games. It's a little step up from NES games, I have to admit. Not by much, though. So... playing this little part of the game. My name is LuckyJack20. I thank you all guys for, I guess, sticking and going through all my blabber chatter till the end of this episode. And join us next time on another episode of Let's Play The Neverhood.